School buses haven't changed much in decades. The iconic big yellow vehicle is an American staple. Gummy bear? But the way kids across the country get to school is now changing. More electric school buses are hitting U.S. roadways than ever before, jumping by more than 200% since the start of 2022. There are now electric bus commitments in 49 states, and the EPA projects that by 2027, nearly a third of all school buses made will be EVs. The push to electrify is being fueled partly by a federal rebate program, pumping billions of dollars from the bipartisan infrastructure law into school systems across the country. The goal, to replace existing fleets with zero emission models. So that's why I'm so excited about these electric school buses. And when I think about what we have been able to do through the infrastructure law, what it means is that we have now invested, and that's the announcement today, $5 billion over the next five years. To keep up with growing demand, one of America's oldest school bus manufacturers, Bluebird, is evolving. The company is constructing a new EV buildup center, which they say will increase production capacity five-fold. This would ultimately allow Bluebird to output around 5,000 electric buses per year. The company's CEO says they're anticipating thousands of orders for these vehicles, with an estimated value of $1 billion over the next five years. Experts are on board with the plan citing a number of potential benefits coming from the transition. A study by the World Resources Institute found that electrifying the full U.S. school bus fleet by 2030 would significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The amount would be equivalent to taking 2 million cars off the road. Each electric school bus produces less than half the emissions of their diesel or propane-powered counterpart. Then when you convert that to zero emissions, the air quality improvement is even significantly higher. Uh, so the overall benefits are quite high for the environment, for the children, and for the communities where the school buses operate. There are also fewer health risks when compared to the more than 40 toxic air contaminants coming from the exhaust fumes of diesel buses. It's good for the children because they're breathing cleaner air, and it's good for the parents because they can feel good sending their kids to school knowing that one child or their children might have one less asthma attack because they're not exposed to diesel pollution. So this is a win-win-win. According to the Electric School Bus Initiative, they save school districts money too. A reduction of $6,000 a year on average operational costs. Clean air, zero emission electric school buses. After running them for, for over two years, we have found significant reduction in cost of operation about 80% reduction in maintenance costs. Overall running of electric uh, vehicles is much less expensive than running a diesel vehicle. But the plan is not without its critics. Opponents say a mass adoption of electric school buses just isn't practical. While maintenance costs for EVs are lower than those of combustion engine buses, the upfront expense is three to four times higher. That puts the price tag of a new big yellow bus at around $350,000 to $450,000. The range of these EV batteries is another factor. Their average range capped at around 100 miles, as if field trips weren't hard enough for bus drivers. I'll turn this damn bus around. That'll end your precious little field trip pretty damn quick, huh? Rural communities are also voicing concerns. The scarcity of EV chargers and the toll electric school buses would take on their local power grid are top of mind for many. I'd be all for this if the technology was ready to, to, to roll and to transport our children safely in the conveyance back and forth to school. It's not working properly at this time. The technology is not there yet to implement. Officials are hoping government funding will help clear these hurdles by making charging technology more widely available and by reducing the costs faced by school districts. The Bipartisan Infrastructure Act, um, what that did was create a new $5 billion clean school bus program. One half of that funding, $2.5 billion, is dedicated solely to funding electric school buses infrastructure. And the clock is ticking to confront these challenges. There are deadlines across the country, with many mandating a push to purchase only electric school buses going forward. So while what's under the hood could be changing quickly, at least the iconic yellow paint job seems to be here to stay.